Okay, what we're going to do here is rot out our Westabeek uh, heat exchanger. Now, if you have a piece of uh, eighth inch stainless welding rod like this, it works pretty good for the straight runs, and you want to taper it a little bit so that the, uh, if it's 90 degrees, it doesn't dig your two balls out. Now, if you're out in the shop floor like this and it's uh, accessible, that's pretty good, except there's a few uh, tubes that you cannot access uh, by a straight piece of pipe like this. So what we do is we take a piece of 719 eighth inch flexible stainless uh, cable here. I guess it doesn't have to be stainless. Put it in the drill, but you want to have the drill in reverse so that the cable doesn't unwind. You can snake that up in there just like this. Kind of gr uh, hold it with your gloves. Again, have it uh, in reverse and kind of ease that on through. And even when it on the corner, see now these bottom pieces you can't get with a straight rod. So what you can do is you can stick this here. And again, you can't get that with a straight rod. Kind of ease it. You don't want to stay in one place too long because it's going to eat up the tube. Up, oh, head it in forward for a second. Just kind of guide that through. If you hit the other side, just keep bouncing it and push it on through. That tube is good and clean. You want to repeat it for all the tubes. And it doesn't have to be a Westerbeek, any old uh, heat exchanger this will work for. If you uh, ruin a tube doing this, better to do it here than out in the ocean. That means the tube wasn't uh, long for this world. And that's all there is to it. And if it takes longer to do, uh, to do than that, you probably have additional issues. All right, that's it. Have fun.